Let's take a quick look at the resonance structures for HCO3 minus, the bicarbonate ion. So we have our Lewis structure here. We have brackets around it and this negative here, this one minus because it's an ion. And this negative, it would be on this oxygen here with the single bond. So this is our Lewis structure. If you need help drawing this or looking at the formal charges, there's links in the description and at the end of this video. The thing about this is that when we look at our Lewis structure, we have a double bond here and we have a single bond here. So we could have the double bond here and the single bond here, and it would be really the same structure. Let's do that. So we'll move these two up here, and then we'll move these two to the center here to form that double bond. So really it's the same structure. We've just moved the double bond around between these two oxygens. We couldn't really do anything here if we put a pair of electrons between the oxygen and the hydrogen. Hydrogen can't have more than two, so that doesn't work. And if we put it over here, Carbon now has 10, that doesn't work. So we're not gonna do anything with this oxygen here. So there are two primary resonance structures for the bicarbonate ion. Really, when we think about a molecule like the bicarbonate ion or molecules that have resonance, it's a mix of the two structures. So we'd have something like this here where we'd have this double bond and single bond mixed together. So we have a 1.5 bond here between these and the negative charge is kind of shared or spread out over these two oxygens here. So either way, two primary resonance structures. One, we have the double bond here. The other, we have the double bond up here. But in reality, it's a mix of those two resonance structures. This is Dr. B with the resonance structures for HCO3- the bicarbonate ion. Thanks for watching.